Hello, and welcome to Mini Shop's How to Sculpt Videos with myself, Elizabeth. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a cat. Thanks, Carolyn, for the suggestion. Before we start, I'll run you through some of the materials you're going to need. You'll need some clay or some Play-Doh. I use Sculpey clay, but you can use any type of clay. You need some tin foil, some toothpicks, a potter's needle, but the toothpicks can work just fine if you don't have one some sort of X-Acto knife or a butter's knife if you don't have an X-Acto knife. And before you, after you use a butter knife for clay, don't use it for food. Some sort of mat, you can use just some brown paper, white paper, whatever. A dowel tool, silicone dowel tool with a bald end, or if you don't have that, you can just use a pen tip. All these videos are in my how to, how to sculpt what I use tools video, and I'll link that below. Let's get started. I'm gonna be making kind of a tan cat. You wanna warm up the clay before you get to sculpting, otherwise it will crack in the oven and it won't be so nice. Once it's warmed up, just set it down for a second. Take some tin foil. And fold some off about this much and scrunch it into a ball, like so. Once you have that, take some of your clay, warm it up again, and flatten it out between your fingers. Set the tinfoil ball in the center of it. And there go the neighbor dogs and just roll over top of the tinfoil until it's smooth. You see that this is a little bit of a abrasion, so just smooth it all out. Now, we cats kind of have a pointed face, so we'll pinch this part between our thumb and index finger. There we go. Now we're going to take our potter's needle and draw just indent ever so slightly in the center of the face. Put two dots in between this line and the edge of the face on either side, and then just kind of one in the middle here. That's where the nose is gonna go. Now, take some more clay, about yay much, roll those into balls, and that was the neighbor's peacock. And then pinch those between your fingers to make a triangle, like that. Set it on here. Now, if you're making a specific cat, you can look at the, a picture of the cat or look at the cat and see, okay, are their ears really far up? Do they have them way on top of their head? Are they on the side? Does one flop? How close are they together? And deduce where you should put them based on all that. So just set those there for the moment and then smooth them in. By pulling, you kind of push and pull the lines with your fingers to smooth them in, like so. All right, on both sides, push and pull, smoothing them out. Like so. Okay. Once you have those ears, I just want to take the silicone dowel tool or your pen and make an indent in here. Indent in there. Like so. And then I'm going to take about as much clay as we took for the ears and split it in half. Add half of that to this, and then split that in half. Then you roll that into two balls and place it right below that line, like so. Then you can take and smooth just a tad, like here. 
and on both sides and now take about half of that each cheek roll it into a ball and then set that right below there our cat is starting to come to shape now you can take our silicone tool or kind of your fingers and indent where the eyes are make an indent one side indent the other side like so and then take this ball tool and make a little hole like so like so and you can also so that there's not just a bump bump you to make it more smooth here Take a piece about as big as you took here, roll it into a cylinder or a little snake, and put it right there. And then you can smooth that in, like so. This is where you can take your toothpick or your dowel tool and smooth in the finer areas so that it all comes together a little bit more. All right. Now that we have that, it's time for some eyes. I'm gonna set this guy down. And normally I just do take about as much clay as we took for this lower lip. Excuse me. And then split it in two. Roll those into two balls. Set those balls into the holes here. Now you can make your eyes whatever color you want. I'm just choosing green. They're a little too big, so what I'm gonna do is two things. One, make my hole a little bigger here, a little deeper, just a bit. And two, take a little clay off. And then re-roll, split and re-roll. And then place them in the holes. Now your cat has eyes. It's starting to shake shape. Okay, what you can do is either take this tool or your potter's needle or your pen or your toothpick, that's the word, and make a slight indent right there on both sides. Take some black clay. This will be for the pupil, about that much. So about a fourth of the size of the iris. And then take your knife, set it on your workspace, your work mat, cut it in half, roll those two into balls, and then flatten them between your fingers. Set those on top of the color for your cat. If you want, you can make them more like slivers to make it sort of a narrow-eyed or the make the um, pupils slits, more slits than that. Okay, now that we have this, let's take a little bit of our clay here, roll it out to a little skinny snake, and then set it on top of the eye. Bring that round near the base of the ear. And now this depends on how fluffy your cat is. You can add more fluff to the cheek if you want. Sorry for all the noises. It's a busy day here. 
or with all in the neighborhood. You can add a tiny bit down below, like so. And then do it the same on the other side. Giving our cat that cat-like look. And then a tiny bit down here. Like so. And then you can smooth it in. Take this tool and just smooth in. Or your fingers or your toothpick. And if you want your cat more fluffy, you can leave kind of the smoothed areas a little bit not jagged, but just kind of not super smooth. Like as I'm doing. Like so. And then I'm going to take this clay just a little bit more to make a fluffier cheeked cat. You can add some clay right here, right below its eye. Like so. And then on the other side, like so. Smooth it in. Smooth it in. It's coming together. Okay, now I'm going to smooth this a tiny bit because we're going to redo that because that's just the base. This is to make sure it goes out far enough. What we're going to do is take a tiny bit like so, cut it in half like that. Roll each of those halves into balls. Flatten them between your fingers and then set them on the cat. Okay. Once you have that, we can do again, a tiny bit of clay down below. so and then I like to smooth this in a little bit okay and then you can put an indent in here I'm pushing this area just a tad to give a little bit more definition Like so. And then we're going to take some clay, roll it out in a little snake like we've done before, and then place it right below the ear near the eye, and then pull it up to the top of the ear, and then do that on the other side as well, like that. And then same on the other side. Like so. You know, making a cat or making any animal based off another animal is kind of a process. It takes some time to get it to look just how you want it. So be patient with yourself and have fun. Sometimes the clay will just go one way when you want it to go a different way and 
it's okay to start over. It's okay to let the clay just kind of do its own thing. Whatever you're feeling like. All right, now that we have that, I'm gonna take a tiny bit more clay, roll it into a little bit thicker of a snake and then flatten the snake between our fingers and give the cat its forehead, like so. And one more time, a little bit of clay here, like that. Smooth it in. So, there I'm liking how the this guy's turning out now. And often with my clay pieces, I have lots of layers, lots of different layers on the cat or, or on whatever I'm making so that it looks just right in the end. Sometimes here, you might want to add a little bit of clay there as well to make it fluffier. Just a little snake again. You can add little clumps of clay wherever you think your cat wants to be more fluffy. Like so. I'm doing this color of cat because it's kind of easier to see what I'm doing. Okay. Now you may see that I accidentally smushed the eye there. If that happens, it's okay to take it out and redo it. But I'm gonna very, very carefully adjust it back to how I want it. Okay. There we go, it's getting closer. Sometimes you just need to add more layers. Like that. And then smooth them in. Okay, set him down for a second, or her. And then we are going to take a tiny, tiny bit of pink clay or whatever color you want to make the nose out of. We're going to set it right there. And then I'm going to take our toothpick or our dowel tool and indent. Like so. And then take your toothpick and pull the little skinny part of the nose down. You can also make this part more defined or smush it together to make it less defined. Like so. And if it, you think there needs to be a little more clay here, so it's less of a ledge, you can do that as well. Add a tiny bit more clay, like so. To make the nose bridge more defined, just make indents on the sides. And sometimes the ears get squished, so you might have to just pull them back out. And redo your little hole. Like 
Now it takes a long time for a cat to look just right. So I'm just gonna put this cat here for a moment. And we are going to make this body. Take some more tin foil, squish it up, roll it into a long cylinder shape. Take your clay color, warm it up a little bit, flatten it out, place this in the center, and then cover it, smoothing the lines as you go. And then you can make your cat sitting, laying down, standing, whatever. I am going to make my cat, mm, I'll make him sitting. Now cats kind of have a hunched back, so we're going to, I don't know what that sound was, but we're going to take a toothpick, split it right about there, and push it into this body. This is so the head stays attached, and then we're going to push the head onto it. Okay. And we're going to smooth the clay together. Like so. Keep smoothing it. And then you can add more fluff around to make it more fluffy. Then take some clay, roll it out to make the legs. Roll it out, make the legs. And I guess my cat is wanting to lean this way. All right, now that you have that, take another bit. And then I like to roll it into a circle on the side and then slant like so. Push them in together, like that. Do it again on the other side. Roll the ball, set the ball on there, make a little bit of clay come out, and then attach it like so. Now you can add little paws to the front if you want by rolling little balls and attaching them. Here we go. All right, we can smooth them on. I want my cat's chest to be a little fluffier, so I'm gonna add a little more clay. I'm rolling a ball, squishing it between my fingers and flattening it and then pulling it around to add more. Then I'm going to smooth it in like that. Okay. We're getting there, slowly but surely. If the ears get funky, you just pinch them back however you want them and indent them. Like so. Or you can even add more to the front. And then smooth it in. All right, it's getting there. Just keep shaping it with your fingers. 
until it looks how you want it to look. This one, I'm going to take this tool again, an indent, and make an ear like that. Indent it really close to the edge. Make the ear like that. Then my cat still doesn't have enough of a forehead, so I'm going to add a tiny bit more. Like this. And then like this. And smooth it in. Maybe now would be a good time to show you what happens if your eyes go get bad. What you can do is either kind of take them out or just squish them back in again. Make an indent. And re-roll them. Okay. I'll just show you how to re-roll them. Put them in there. That eye I like better than this eye, so I'm going to take this eye out, make it smaller, and roll it in. I often make lots of iterations of a cat to make it look how I want it to. Okay, make an indent on the circle. Add some black. Like so. By splitting this in two. Sometimes I just use my nail on my finger to cut them in half, because they're so small. And that's why my nails are dirty often. There you go. Now that we have that, let's take our toothpick. Make sure it's clean though, or your potter's needle. And stick it in some white clay. Take that and apply it to the eye. Like so. And do the other side. Just ever so slightly press the white down so that it attaches. And you have a cat. Mine kind of looks like the grumpy cat because his face is smushed. But you can also take your dowel tool or your toothpick and re-smooth the features, whatever features you want, to make it look less smushed or more smushed, however you'd like with your cat. Add more clay to make it more fluffy. I'll probably do another cat video later. Cause this one isn't turning out exactly how I want him, but I just wanted to show you the process of making a cat. Like 
that. Okay, and once you kind of have its face, the cat's face, you can pull out the cheese if you want. I like to take this tool and make it like this. What you do is you press down slightly and pull, just ever so slightly, to make it fluffy looking. Like that. And then, oh, don't forget the tail. You can roll out some clay and attach it to the back and then make its tail flicking. Or it can be a short bob tail. To add texture, you can make a tiny, tiny little marks with your toothpick. Like so. And just have fun experimenting. You can add different colors and all sorts of things. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have questions, let me know below. Like and subscribe to see more. And have a great day. Have fun. Oh, yes. One last thing. If it's Sculpey Clay, bake it in the oven at 275 for 15 minutes. And it's just a normal oven. Thanks, guys. Bye.